I've come to this wharf at the end of Zhuhai, and there's supposed to be a high-speed uh, ferry that'll take me out to Hebao Dao, otherwise known as Hope Island. I'm looking forward to this. It's gonna be a little bit of an adventure. So, not too bad. I found the ticket office right over here. Very, very polite people. Uh, they take your passport, they take your health code, and then you get a ticket for about 130 kwai, which is round trip. Uh, I got about an hour and a half before the next ferry gets over. I'll have a few hours hanging out over there. And then I come back and go sit back in the hot springs after a nice little day hike. Can't film too much around here because there's the Chinese Navy all around me. So you have to be very careful and respectful to the troops. But also all around this area is a, is a petrol, uh, storage areas. A lot of uh, chemical storage in this wharf. Uh, a lot of heavy truck traffic everywhere you go. Some dude came over, you know, with a little clipboard and said it's going to be 30 RMB to park my car. So way overpriced for parking, but whatever. Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy to help him out. Just hang out, throw some sunscreen on and wait for the boat. You know, I have to admit, I absolutely love the smell of a wharf. It's that combination of the sea and diesel engines brings back fond memories from my childhood. Oh, on all public transportation, you have to wear the mask. <laughs> Temperature checks the works, right? You can see here, the, it looks like they at one time had hopes of turning this into a really high-end destination, but as you can see, it's, <laughs> it's a little uh, neglected. But uh, let's head down these steps towards the beach and explore this island. really quite beautiful. You see, it's a completely empty beach. Sometimes forget I'm in China. There are over 140 islands that belong to the city of Zhuhai. Some of them wrap around to the backside of Hong Kong even. Most of them are uninhabited. This one, they say, is sparsely inhabited. From what I can gather, there are ferries to an awful lot of them. I hope to explore some more. Uh, I just happen to be in this part of Zhuhai for the day. It's a Monday and it feels like I have this whole island to myself. Now I know that there's a resort here somewhere. I don't know. I, I didn't bring any food with me. We'll see how that goes. Getting here though is not easy. I mean it's about an hour and a half drive uh, out of downtown Zhuhai and to get to the wharf. Got to find the wharf, get yourself a ticket and then it's about a half an hour boat ride across the bay. And then another bus ride to get over the island to this side of the bay. Yeah, this <laughs> it's a dirt trail, but you can see it's lit at night and they've got speakers hidden playing music. Uh, it looks like there is a small little hotel here. This is the restaurant at the little hotel that's here. Pretty not good looking restaurant. I've been sitting here for about 30 minutes trying to wave down a waiter or a waitress. Nobody wants to serve me. They don't want to come anywhere near me. I sit and enjoy the air conditioning. Thank you very much. They finally brought me a menu. You can go camping on the beach here. It would be a terrible time to go camping. Quite literally, I think this is like the hottest day of the year. It's over 100 degrees and tons of humidity and no shade. I mean, 
Sleeping in those tents overnight has got to be hell, even with the breeze coming off the ocean. Behind me over here, these are the, the uh, little bungalows for the workers who live here on the island. There is literally nobody on this beach. See, this is interesting. I was told that you can actually rent these. They're like little dog houses. Yeah, they're, they're locked up. But you can actually sleep in these overnight. There are some very big birds. They're huge. They look like they look like eagles. I don't think you can see that. Very large bird flying there. There's a couple of them. They are big. You never see very big animals on the mainland, you know? I'm gonna see very large wild birds here. It's great, man, this sand is thick. Whew. So apparently, other than back near where that little tiny hotel is, which doesn't look, it looks okay, you're not supposed to swim on this beach. And I don't know why. It's a beautiful beach to swim. There are no lifeguards, obviously, but apparently you're only allowed to swim on this beach right in front of the little inn that's over there. I was looking for some trails that might go up a hill. I don't see any. Kind of a desolate area to be honest. It's great to be alone, but man, it is really hot out here with no shade. But out there, that is all the South China Sea. Okay, so you can see here these little umbrellas. Apparently this right here is the only place on this beach you are allowed to go swimming. There's no one here, but yeah, this is it.